Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove your LP tokens uh, through the Pancake Swap Exchange. So it's pretty simple. A lot of people are asking about LP tokens. Let's say you want to exit one of your farming pools. How do you do it? And how do you get your? For, in this example, I'm going to show you how I get my Cardano ADA back and my BNB back. So I'm just going to do an example of uh, one LP token that consists of Cardano and pink pancake swap so the first thing you want to do is come over to the top right you want to make sure that your wallet is connected um, as you can see I'm using Binance Smart Chain right now so that's Binance Smart Chain uh, when you come over to the home page I'm just gonna go over a little bit of the basics here so this is your your main window so if you want to farm and stake and you want to harvest everything that you have in your pools all you do is click on harvest but I'm gonna show you there's a little bug like I use both Binance Smart Chain wallet and on my mobile which I prefer I use Trust Wallet because there's no bugs I think they've optimized the UI for mobile because so I'm going to show you this when I click on harvest all look at the air so watch when I click harvest all we get this sometimes this window uh, is five times the size so you got to do a bunch of transactions you gotta you have to bring this over here click confirm and hopefully this harvests everything that I'm I'm doing within a pool but it doesn't and sometimes you got to do this like three or four or five times but when you do in trust wallet it's a little easier um, it doesn't happen right so Binance, if you're watching this, fix this issue on Pancake. So, and now it's collecting, and I'm just going to pause the video and come back to it. So I did that, and um, I'm back, and it doesn't see. I, I have to do this multiple times. So if I go to pools, um, I can add to it so I could click. So right now I'm staking at 143%, and all I do is just click on stake, click on max, confirm, and I'm going to show you this. see there's somewhat of a little UI bug here I got to move this all over to here and click on confirm pending confirmation and some okay it did go through this time which is good so as you can see I got 17 here but like I said I've been using my trust wall a lot more so I've been moving over my my pancake right now I just got to get out of my liquidity pools so I'm going to show you how to get out of your farm pools so come over here to farms and what you want to do is you want to sell it. So I've got Cardano. Let's scroll down here. I've got Reef to BNB. And I have some other pools going. So I've got 93. So people are asking how much is 93 ADA to BNB LP? So as you can see, um, if you're not familiar with impermanent loss, just do some research. Impermanent loss is like the, the losses that you experience when a token goes down or up in value so it's based on percentage so if a token goes up five percent uh i think five x or two x or one x you lose two and a half percent so you have to be really careful on which pools you get in and you know you have to be pretty cautious you just want to get out fast you know especially in these high liquidity pools because you don't want to experience the impermanent loss. And the best way to do that, like I have strategies that I talk in my private group. But you want to get in and you want to get out before you get this price spike. Or you want to come in after the pump. And hopefully that the liquidity pool farm is at four to 500. But you don't stay in it long because uh, those are a lot more volatile. And you don't want to be in volatile uh, farm pools. So that's why I have uh, Cardano. It dropped about 10%, so I'm actually experiencing probably like a 2.5% impermanent loss. So here it is. To remove your liquidity or your LP, what you want to do is come over to the uh, pair that you have, which is LP, ADA to BNB LP. Just select the minus. Select that and say that you want to do one, and you confirm. Then you sign your transaction with Binance, Smart Chain, etc., so after that, you want to come over here to liquidity. Sorry, you want to, I mean, you want to come over here to um, exchange. 
and then you want to come over to liquidity and then underneath liquidity it's going to show you what you have here so you could just it's going to show you everything that you have available so you can see that i've got pooled ada you know for pool tokens for one it's 12 ada and bnb is 0 0.081 so if you want to remove just click on remove and you can do how much you can see the max right and i'm going to get back 12 0.93 ADA and 0 0.0815 and then you approve it okay then you sign the transaction something's going to pop up I'm going to do this for you as an example see how it just kind of pops over and if you look at the network fee the network fee is almost nothing you know imagine doing all of this stuff on Uniswap and this is the benefit of using platforms like PancakeSwap that are off of the Ethereum chain because you don't have to deal with high gas fees. You can buy and farm and get in and get out for 20 or 30 cents. You can repeat this rinse and repeat all day long. Come in, get two, 300, 400, 500 percent for seven days. Hopefully you don't experience impermanent loss and get out. So let's confirm this. So now it's approving. So perfect. So at the price rate of that, and then now we could come over to our wallet. So let's click approved and remove. So we're going to confirm that. Waiting confirmation. So I got to sign this and approve. Confirm. So the transaction is submitted and you could view this on Binance chain. It's like Ethereum wallet or similar to Etherscan. So perfect. So it removed it. Now you could come over to Binance Smart Chain or your wallet. If you're using MetaMask, you can view it there. But right now, like I mentioned, I'm using uh, Binance Smart Chain. So come over to Binance Smart Chain and there you go. I could look at my activity and just see what happens. So I could see that I got 12 extra cardano because i didn't have any cardano in there i just had them in farming pools and then i can see you know uh in my addition of, of binance bnb token and if you want to add liquidity it's the same thing uh, you come over here liquidity add liquidity and then you just select the pair that you want make sure that your wallet is connected and if you want to get into something that is high ap apy all you do is you come over to to farms you come over to farms and you look at the high APY percentage pools you got SWGB and if you look at the ROI on SWGB look if you're in it for seven days you're getting 7.86 if you're in it for 30 days you're getting about 38 percent that those are in some insane crazy yields but like I said, you experience impermanent loss. But I think the risk to reward ratio, uh, to me, is fine because I'll experience a little bit of an impermanent loss. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at to, to get more cake. Okay, I'm looking at to get more cake tokens and then do whatever I want with them. If I want to add it to my pool and get 149% back and keep taking out your profits. For me, my strategy is a little different because um, Pancake... You could see you could say that's a little risky because it's a new platform, but you know everyone has their strategies, and you got to uh, do your own research. Look at impermanent loss, look at these high APY pools and farms, and know when to exit. Right, uh, because if you could get in early, reap the rewards of getting in early before the masses come in, and then you know the the pools and the percentages aren't as attractive, then at least you've made your money, and you can move on to the next you know, big DeFi project. So that's it. You know, if you want to uh, add to the to your pools once you've uh, added liquidity, so you get 146 here. I've got some liquidity here. So you can see I got 20 uh, of these LP tokens and then basically I harvest everything together, come to the pools, and then I keep adding to get 143%, right? So if you look at you know the daisy chain and how much cake that i'm getting like on my trust wallet it just it keeps growing and growing and growing and then what do you do with your cake 
you could just sell it for BNB or, or just swap it for uh, BUSD for stable coins, right? A and continue and then buy your, your bullish token. So anyways, that's it for uh, this pancake swap tool. I want to show you how to remove your liquidity because I had a couple of questions um, from the group. So anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.